Hello everyone! Throughout the Babylon 5 series, we've heard about these different sections in the station, but we never got a full layout to where everything is placed. In the different seasons, we've heard references of colors and sectors, such as the blue sector or the gray sector. These different areas always intrigued me since unlike other sci-fi shows, the Babylon 5 station does not have a traditional artificial gravity, and they have to rely on the station rotating to create gravity. And inside Babylon 5, it's hollow, which gets rid of the whole entire notion of a traditional floor system. In this video, we'll be breaking down each part of the Babylon 5 station, starting from the bay entry all the way to the propulsion section, which is located at the back. For the individuals that are not familiar with the station, it's located in neutral space orbiting around Epsilon 3. Babylon 5 was the fifth and final space station in the Babylon project and was created to help keep the peace. The station was built by the Earth Alliance to be an area of peace and help prevent another Earth Membari war which almost destroyed them. To make the station an attractive area for other races to join, they built it away from their territory and created a location for open trade. Due to the Earth Alliance lack of technology, they had to build the station to rotate to produce gravity and to use a fusion reactor to generate power to run the station systems. To keep this 5 mile long city self sufficient, they had water reclaimer systems to recycle the water for drinking, gardening, and showers for the executive suites and command quarters. There are multiple layouts and maps of the Babylon 5 station that was made by fans or by independent companies, which makes it difficult to decipher which one's correct. At first, I was going to use the Babylon 5 station guide, but after reviewing where each sector was located, it didn't make much sense. Lucky enough, the Babylon 5 art director, Ted Hay, left behind a map that gave us a good idea how the station was designed. The core of Babylon 5 is divided up between six color-coded sectors, which are blue, red, green, brown, gray, and yellow. From the bay entrance to the med lab is the blue sector. The rotation section before the hydroponic gardens is the red sector, and the hydroponic gardens is the green sector, hence the name. The next rotation section is the gray sector, and between the gray sector and the propulsion system, also referred to as the yellow sector, is the brown sector. Now let's start reviewing the front of the station called the Blue Sector, which contains a forward rotating section and extends into the Med Lab. The Blue Sector houses the bay entrance and observation domes, which includes CNC, which is in front of the station. CNC, are also referred to as Command and Control, is located on Observation Dome 1 and serves as a central hub for the whole station's operations, besides security. To help protect the command center from being destroyed, a pair of blast doors was placed in front to help protect them from attacks. Behind the bay entrance and observation domes is a docking bay which stores all the vessels and before you're allowed entrance into the station you must go through customs which is the first and last stop for all B5 visitors. Once the visitors pass through customs, they can take the core shuttle which can transport them to all the different sectors within the station. The first stop is the medical lab, which is the primary medical facility on B5. The lab also has an ISO, which is a pressurized compartment used to diagnose and treat non-oxygen breathing patients. Below the med lab is the sanctuary, which allows the visitors and station personnel to observe the stars. In front of the sanctuary are small hangar bays, which contains the fighters. Past the labs in the sanctuary are lecture halls, which fit up to no more than 20 personnel. And near them is some form of justice department, which follows the Earth Alliance laws. The security headquarters is also placed near the courts, while other stations are placed throughout Babylon 5 to help keep the law in other sectors. Next is the red sector that serves as Babylon 5's commercial area. This sector contains many shops that have different goods from across the galaxy. You never know what you'll find. They also have banquet rooms which can be rented out for festivals or commercial use. We got to witness these rooms in use when Londo showed Centauri culture beliefs in Season 1 of Babylon 5. In the same location they have a casino, which all major currencies are accepted, and is where Londo Malari spends a great portion of his time. There's also conference rooms full of integrated central computer systems. Any one of these tables could be rented out for a variety of deals. Now in the largest rotation section is the green sector, which is surrounded by hydroponic gardens. It's also known as the diplomatic sector and it is a common place for guests to visit. 
As mentioned before, the green sector has tons of hydroponic and zen gardens, and due to the size of this area, a lot of different locations are placed throughout the sector, such as the council chambers, which is where the League of Non-Aligned Worlds and the Balma 5 Advisory Council meets. There's also housing which includes the Ambassador Wing and the Alien Sector, which accommodates an array of different atmospheric environments for multiple alien races. There's also entertainment centers such as restaurants and shops, and of course, just like the Blue Sector, the green sector also has lecture halls as well. There's some disagreement if the red sector ends right before the hydroponic gardens or proceeds a half mile in until it ends at the baseball field. The Earth Alliance facilities are located in the green sector which contains the command office and support. For some reason the mess hall where all the crew members eat is located in the blue sector near the med lab. Behind the hydroponic gardens is the gray sector which is the home for the atmospheric monitors, power stations, environmental support facilities, and several storage areas. This sector is known to be a strange place for odd things to occur. Some would call this place haunted. Weird noises are often heard and it's not uncommon for people to vanish in this area, which is the reason why I was given the nickname the B5 Triangle. In Season 3 of Babylon 5, Garibaldi found a missing floor called Grey 17, which was inhabited by a religious cult and a dangerous alien. The next section is the Brown Sector, which houses the life support and the waste reclaiming facilities. This area contains a lot of homeless individuals and is the worst part of down below. The only redeeming part about this sector is the chapel, which is maintained by Brother Theo and his monks who helps the troubled souls that live in this area. At the rear of the station is the yellow sector, which contains the primary fusion core and the fuel tanks. There's also no rotation section in this area, which means all maintenance must be done in zero gravity. In the recent Babylon 5 movie, The Road Home, they showed a different reality that had some kind of gravity system in the yellow sector, which is an interesting difference between both of these stations. The whole station was run by a basic form of artificial intelligence to help visitors with basic needs or crew members completing tasks for the station. There was also a more advanced form of artificial intelligence that was launched in the beginning of the Babylon 5 existence, but was removed after having issues with its personality. When it comes to the overall Babylon 5 defense grid, it's spread out between the different sectors to provide the most amount of protection. In later seasons, the station's defense grid was updated and had the capability to even take on a Centauri battleship. In conclusion, the Babylon 5 station is a city in space, with all the pros and cons that comes with living in a heavily populated area. I'm curious to know your thoughts about the Babylon 5 station. Please leave a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, then please like, subscribe, and don't forget to click on the notification button. If you want more sci-fi content, then please check out these other two videos and my socials. Thank you for watching Utopian Broadcast, and I'll see you next time on my channel. Thank you.